In 2019, India embarked on the Chandrayaan-2 mission to the Moon, which achieved only partial success. The orbiter on the lunar orbit performed excellently, but the lander failed to land. As a result, the small rover was unable to move on the lunar surface. Therefore, India decided to prepare the Chandrayaan-3 mission, which will consist of a lander and a rover only. The launch was carried out using India's most powerful rocket, the LVM-3, from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. It took place on July 14th at 9.05 Universal Time. The payload weighed 3,900 kilograms, which means that the chosen LVM-3 rocket was unable to deliver the probe directly to the moon's orbit. When the probe separated from the upper stage, it was on an elongated orbit around the Earth, with the highest point at an altitude of approximately 36,000 kilometers. During each pass at the lowest point of the orbit, known as the perigee, the engine on the probe's propulsion stage will ignite. This will cause the elliptical orbit to gradually elongate, eventually sending the probe towards the moon. Once there, through a series of engine burns, it will adjust its orbit to an altitude of approximately 100 kilometers. If all goes well, an attempt to land could take place on August 23rd. So far, only probes from the United States, Soviet Union, and China have successfully landed on the moon's surface. India could become the fourth country to achieve such a feat. The lander named Vikram and the rover Pragyan carry scientific instruments designed to study the properties of lunar regolith, primarily in the vicinity of the moon's south pole. They are expected to operate for 14 days after landing. We will continue to cover the entire mission in the future. Thank you for watching Spaceflight News, and if you have learned something new, we would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It would also be great if you share the video with your friends who might be interested in this topic.